Hi, I'm Jordan from Thoroughfare. And this is Silent Bob. Hi, I'm Jordan from Thoroughfare. And I'm Thomas from Thoroughfare. And we're at Lakeside Studios where they serve you small waters and big laughs. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jordan from Thoroughfare. And I'm Thomas from Thoroughfare. We're here at Lakeside Studios doing our next album with Travis Wyrick. A commercial. Wow, commercial. Wow, commercial. <laughs> Make a, a, a 3D effect with my hands. <laughs> and then it comes to the who's done P.O.D., Disciple, Pillar, in 10 years. Um, everything seems to be going pretty well. Not sure what to say after this. Thomas, take it away. <laughs> That last thing, don't play that. Bling again, just go. Wing it, wing it. It'll probably open off the. Uh... I'm Colin, and I play the drums. I'm Cameron, and I play the pinano. I'll just play it late. But it wouldn't be the second chord then. No. Everything's going pretty smoothly. The first time we recorded here, we did a six-song EP with Travis, and um, it was. Uh, significantly different lineup and we'd never been in the studio before and the last time uh, we did it we were without direction in a smelly hotel room in Philadelphia and uh, so you know with a bunch of songs that nobody really cared about so finally we've got something that we're, we're pretty proud of I think. I'm Travis I'm producing the record for Thoroughfare and uh, today we're working on some vocals and uh, we've got some uh, I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> I'm Keith from the band Copper, and uh, I'm here doing some background vocals for Thoroughfare today. How can I say? It's funny how sometimes they sound good, but they're not in visual line. And uh, stuff sounded good, and uh, I'm happy to be a part of it. Uh, right now, we're finishing up, finishing up the last couple days. Just got the stems in for the Chemical Road EP. And uh, Jordan right now is in the vocal booth. He's recording some acoustic and some touch-up tracks on the new album. What is your duties here anyway? To make crappy bands sound good. <laughs> now your hand's a little inconsistent and weird. Yeah. Now you're starting to swing all of a sudden. Let me start you a lot closer. So I can get what I need. Recorded the acoustic overlay track on a uh, tremolo song, which is uh, going to be called Tell Me, which is a temporary name for now. Probably be something different on the album, but uh, it sounds really good. Everything's coming on. Well, actually, we're going back in. This is the board of things finished. Green X means we finished it. Purple means you haven't written it yet. Red means I pawned it off onto Mike D. And green means I need to do it. And a blank space means nobody's done anything correct. A lot of blank spaces. That's cool. So here we need some cool noises. Shut up, Colin, I'm talking. I didn't talk during your interview. I'm sorry. It's because you were too busy. Shut up, Colin! I need to write vocals on a bridge. <laughs> We need melodic oh, noises in the left speaker. No we need some clean phase. We need a Vox AC30 on the intro. Need some acoustic guitars here. People, I'm talking. Sorry about that. So overall, is it going pretty good? Uh, you know, it's done all right. Once we get done with all this, we hire session players, and they come and they replay everything. Then we mix it, and we put it out. Tell me about the piano burning. <laughs> oh, dude, it was awesome. Well, first we completely doused the thing in gasoline, and someone had the bright idea of pouring the gas into the actual that would, that would be back of it. And, you know, we made it like a little gas trail, you know, a good four feet away or something, and I guess you hit it with a lighter, <laughs> and it, the flame shot straight up to it and blew the top off. And the like, piano blew up. Yeah, it basically blew up. And knocked us all back. And then uh, <laughs> after it started calming down, we're like, okay, let's put some more gas on it. So I told Colin to get a cup full of gas, and we're all standing real close because the fire's kind of low, taking pictures real close. And he just tosses it on it, and all of a sudden just blows up right in front of all of us. 
yeah, it, it was, was not a good thing. <laughs> and then you could hear the tension strings popping as well. Yeah. They were bing. We were, we were jumping back but trying to take photos at the yeah. same time. We put, were put on the trying to dodge these strings flying. Hang out everywhere. behind the fence about 30 yards back. Oh, just